Hey guys, it's Sheridan, and this is going to just be a raw, honest video, and I'm just going to do my quiet time, and this video is going to be titled, There's No Wrong Time for a Quiet Time, or something along the lines of that. I don't really know. It's late, and I haven't done my by myself quiet time. I did my Bible study with a group of girls, but I'm ready just to get in the word by myself, have some worship time by myself. It is really late. Let's see what time it is. It is 11:41. It's almost 12 a.m. So, we're just going to have a good time with the Lord. We're going to study the word. We're going to hopefully do some prayer journaling and some of that kind of stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it encourages you if you haven't picked up your Bible today that there's no wrong time to do your quiet time. So, let's get into the word. Hey guys, so I'm just going to put on a worship Spotify playlist gonna worship to like two or three songs even though it's super duper late I don't care I need my God time so I'm getting it in and that's what this whole video is about just an encouragement to you guys that if you went the whole day without doing your quiet time you can still do it right now whatever time it is I just closed my laptop and I got all my study supplies over here got my Bible and got my prayer journal. I'm going to go in my Bible. I said a prayer after worship. And now I'm going to go into my Bible study time. So I'm behind on my Bible reading plan. So we're trying to get caught up. We're reading Judges chapters 1 through 5. And I'm just going to speed this part up. I may continue this video tomorrow and show you what a daytime quiet time would look like, but it is super late. What time is it now? It is 1.18. Super duper late. <laughs> so I'm going to get my pajamas on and do all my bedtime stuff and go to sleep. Hey guys, it's the next morning and I prayed when I was brushing my teeth and I prayed again after. So I'm getting ready to do my quiet time. My hair's a little crazy, so you guys are just gonna have to ignore it. I have breakouts on my face, and this camera is really clear, so you can pretty much see all the breakouts and stuff. It's me again, and I thought before I conclude this video, might as well show you quiet times at all points of the day. Morning, super late at night, and midday. Today, I have not gotten a chance to dig deep into my Bible today because I woke up and wanted to spend time with family. I just wanted to spend time with them, so... I ate breakfast and I just stayed in the living room with them and spent time with them. So that's kind of what I've been doing today. I'm going to do my quiet time right now. I'm going to read one of these for my devotional today. And I'm also going to read in the book of Judges. And this just goes to show, yes, in the morning is the best time to have your quiet time because it sets your whole day up for success but if you don't have time for some reason in the morning or if you don't have time when you go to bed if you have time in the midday just spend that time with the lord because it is important and that's the whole thing of this video i want you guys to see that i don't have it all together i'm not perfect sometimes i don't do my quiet time in the morning sometimes i do it midday sometimes i do it at night but the main thing is to make sure we spend time with God 
daily. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and I really appreciate it. If you guys want to connect with me, you can go to my Instagram, send in your prayer request or whatever. I would love to pray for you. And I just hope this video encourages you to deepen your walk with the Lord and to realize that your quiet time does not have to be this Christian influencer quiet time. But God wants a deep relationship no matter what time of day. And he wants to spend time with you. So spend time with him today. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.